Hello everyone. I uh, just stopped. This is a little park right down the road from my house. I wanted to uh, to film. I wanted to be outside. We had about 23 degrees this morning, and uh, it's all over 50s this afternoon. Feeling pretty good. Uh, today was the last day of school before the uh, Thanksgiving break, and uh, just a nice day. Spend some time with the kids, doing fun activities. Um, no, no hard work. Just, just enjoyed a good day. And uh, something happened today that I've been expecting. Um, I, I'm never surprised by it. I just, it, it took longer this year than it usually does. Um, I, I begin the year. It's warmer weather. I'm wearing short sleeves and um, my arms are exposed. But the, the freshmen, especially, are usually a little too, um, I don't know, nervous, timid, whatever, to, to ask. But there's usually one kid that'll. Uh, uh, you know, have enough guts to, to ask questions, you know, Mr. Thomas, you know, what's with the, the tattoos? What's with the ink? And uh, it happened today, <laughs> and it was a young lady I did not expect it from, a uh, sweet little gal, Haley. And uh, Haley said, you know, I just never noticed them, but you have tattoos on both your arms. What are they for? And, uh, you know, very innocent. I mean, kids just like to, to ask questions. And uh, she was the first one this year. Now, this is something I, uh, I I made a video before on this, but I didn't like the way it came out. I didn't like the way it sounded. Um, my good friend Wheels and Levers asked me about this one, and uh, I just explained it briefly in a comment and said that I would do a video later. Um, so I, I guess today's going to be the day I'll do it. Um, and I did. I told the story in front of the kids today, what uh, you know what these mean, and I was thinking in my head that. Uh, Gene from Reloading of the Hot Pot had put a, uh, a post up about somebody leaving comments in his uh, videos about his uh, his tattoos and uh, his jewelry of all things. Uh, you know, Gene does tattooing for a living, so that's I don't know why anybody would feel the need to, to say anything. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> Haley wanted to know what this was, and uh, I'll explain. I had this tattoo done. When my son was born and uh, the reason is that that's how he got his name there is a clock here in Middletown outside of the brownstone restaurant and uh, when my wife and I knew that we were expecting uh, we were standing out there waiting for a table for breakfast one day and uh, my wife looked up at the clock and it is a Seth Thomas clock now if you know anything about clock makers that was an old colonial clock maker and uh, we had talked about names, but we really didn't discuss anything in great detail. Um, I didn't even want to until we knew, you know, we were having a boy or a girl and, you know, take half of that part out of the equation. Well, I said that was a good name and let's put that in our back pocket and keep it for, for some time. So uh, the night that my son was born in the hospital, uh, we had to get serious about picking a name and I related that story and she thought that was a really good idea. Uh, Seth was born on his grandfather's birthday, my wife's grandfather, and uh, his name was Joseph. So when I took this idea to my artist, uh, I took him a picture of the clock, and I'll, I'll put a picture of that in the video here. Now. I took a picture of this uh, clock and it has lion's heads on it so my artist Ray he gave us the the two lion heads for one for each of us my son and I the time that he was born 1 46 a.m. we put Seth Joseph Thomas so his name a name from my wife's side of the family my Thomas name and his birthday 1 5 10 so this is 12 years old it's held up pretty good uh, Ray does great work and uh, that's the story behind that one. And I tell my students, you know, if you think you want to get a tattoo, get a design, put it in an envelope, put it on a shelf for at least a year, and uh, revisit it in a year. And if you think you still want to get it, then go ahead. So they should always mean something, in my opinion. This one, uh, 
you've seen this before. This is the logo on my channel. This is my maker's mark for my leather work. And this one is a memorial for my dad. Well, I'm right along a walking path here and uh, ahead of a visitor, somebody walking along, had to chat for a minute. So uh, <clears throat> this tattoo was done as a memorial for my dad. Um, after he passed, I was trying to decide what I wanted to do and uh, I came up with this idea based on uh, the kind of guy my dad was. We did a lot of work together um, from whenever I was really young you know, cutting firewood, working on cars. Um, we rebuilt a car for, my, for me for my 16th birthday. Uh, building houses, just everything that we did. Anytime it involved some kind of lifting or moving things. Uh, he once built a, a building and then decided he wanted to dig underneath it and put a foundation under it. So we lifted it up with, uh, with jacks. But anytime we would do something like that, we would both look at each other and say, effing Archimedes, Archimedes. Uh, give me a lever long enough and a place to stand and I'll move the world. And that's the kind of guy my dad was. So that was the inspiration for that tattoo. It came from an old woodcut picture um, I found in a, uh, a museum, I think, one time. And I thought it would make a, a really great picture and uh, make a good tattoo. And, uh, well, that's the reason behind those. And, uh, you know, when you see somebody that's got tattoos or does something a little bit wears something a little bit different than you do uh, maybe ask them what the story is behind it don't uh, don't be <laughs> judgmental uh, so that's my tattoo story hope everybody has a great Thanksgiving great week take care